Okay, I haven't done any recording of my project up at this point, so my son said I should probably start. So what I've done up to this point, I took the flatbed off and there was just so much rust and so much pitting because it's had a salt spreader on the back that uh, I spent the last several days just cleaning up the frame, getting the, the, uh, the rust off. Um, I am now at the point, I've got two coats of chassis saver paint uh, satin finish and I'm about ready to spray a third and then I plan to do a top coat of Rust-Oleum satin paint uh, only because I know chassis saver is not a UV protected paint and so it's going to fade over time and so I would like to at least preserve a little bit of black I'm not looking for perfect showroom quality of course but um, I would like to have at least a little bit of black paint uh, for the next few years um, another thing I'll point out is that the uh, the fuel tank uh, straps, these are actually custom made and I just took a couple straps of steel and bolted them in place and if I ever need to get the gas tank out, the fuel tank out, um, I can just cut the bolts and it'll come down instead of pulling the flatbed off the top and coming out the top. So at this point I need two more coats of paint, like I said, one Chaffee Chassis Saver and the next Rust-Oleum in a satin black. Uh, I didn't want gloss just because there's too many imperfections on this frame. Um, and then once that's done, I'll slip the fuel tank back in, get the fuel lines put back on the inside of the frame there, put the brake, emergency brake cables back, and um, I'll be ready to focus on the front of this truck. So I plan to get a little bit more organized once I start painting uh, sheet metal and panels. But for the frame right now, I'm just working on my rolling cart here. Um, I've got my air gun, Harbor Freight air gun, and the uh, vise, which actually is a nice holding device there. Um, chassis saver, that's what I went with, satin black. And I've used about a quart, quart and a half so far. I've uh, sprayed about three of the, um, the containers out on my frame so far. I'm going a little more generous than uh, than some do probably just because there's a lot of rust and uh, a lot of pits to fill. So um, I know they say you go with uh, thin coats. Uh, I've done two probably a little more generous than uh, a typical coat but uh, I'm gonna uh, fill up the gun here uh, one more time and spray one more coat before uh, I'm done for the evening. Okay just some comments on the chassis saver. I do like it so far. It paints uh, really well over rust. Uh, I had my frame cleaned up really well, um, as much as I could, but there's deep pitting. And um, for what it looked like prior to painting, um, I like the coverage that uh, Chassis Saver gives. I do have the reducer, so I reduced it according to their specs. And uh, as far as my paint gun, you know, Harbor Freight, you guys have seen this before. Um, your typical Harbor Freight gun, I put a, um, uh, an air regulator on it and uh, uh, a moisture trap as well. So I just hook this directly into my air compressor and away I go. I, I'm shooting at about 25 uh, PSI. So nothing special. I'm not a professional, but uh, I guess I know enough and I'm familiar with uh, enough with a spray gun to at least get the job done. All right, safety first. I've got my respirator on. Let's shoot this frame. Okay, I just finished shooting the third coat of chassis saver. And you can see it's still just a little bit glossy because it's wet, but it will dry to a nice satin finish. And this is coat number three. Number four will be a top coat of Rust-Oleum satin. And that's just to give it a little bit of a black over the next few years because the chassis saber is not UV resistant. So I don't want it to fade immediately over the next year. So I'll top coat it with a little Rust-Oleum. Again, it's just a frame, so I'm not super particular about what it looks like. It's gonna get a flat bed on top, but I would like to at least have a little bit of a black uh, paint for the next few years so it looks uh, reasonable after it gets a little bit of age on it. So there it is, coat number three. And I think it turned out, considering just how rusty and pitted this frame was, 
again, it had a salt spreader on the back. And I think most people would have looked at this truck and probably passed it by. Um, it's got 38,000 original miles, 7.3 diesel, and I decided to give it a try. So I think for what it is and what I paid for it, um, it's going to be a nice truck once it's done. Again, I'm not looking for perfection, but I do want a nice, clean daily driver that uh, maybe turns a couple heads.